I'm so proud. Hi, somebody. Hi, somebody. Hi, somebody. I'm wearing my rumba outfit today. I started rumba and salsa and bachata. Oof, let me tell you. How are you? I hope you're taking care of yourself, darlings. One shot of this life. Welcome to Rebel for a Spell, where it's all about discovering your voice, finding your voice, natural hair and soul care. Today, story time. Can you handle a little story? <laughs> all right. So, I moved to a new city. I moved to a new city and let me tell you, it's rich with culture. It's diversified in terms of people. Fresh food, because let me tell you, I love me some freshly prepared meals, because I'm an island woman. We want our fish straight from the water, on the plate and in my belly, honey. <laughs> so I'm excited with this new move. So, I said, you know what? 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 When you know what? How about you find somebody that can help you with you, you know, your big head? Because natural hair, let's just be honest, ladies, it's a full-time job. Whether or not you admit it or you want it to be, this type of hair, Afro textured hair, requires a lot of tender love and care. And I was tired. I was tired of dealing with my hair, tired of just giving my hair five hours every Saturday with all my treatments and my potions and my Ayurveda, this and higher, la la, this. Needed a break, needed a break. So you know what I did, right? Do you know what I did? Huh? I went to the go -Gals. I found her. After a long search, I found her. 40 minutes away from my house. I said, you know what? Let me call her and see if her spirits drive because that's important to me. I don't let every and anybody go up in my head because let me tell you, they're sub-stylists. They go up in your head and all they do is yap, 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 and you run in there with like 20 inches of hair, you come out bald-headed. I have no time for that. Plus, I wanted to get a sense of, yes, I got the review, she said this and that, but let me hear the person myself. Spoke to her, very chill, very calm. Um, I said, you know, where's that phone of mine? Let me just tell you how this conversation went. I called her. Hi. Hi, my name is Wen. I have a big head. A super sensitive scalp. And... I need to know if that's something you can handle. <laughs> so darling, spoke to her. She said she only takes appointments, which I loved. I said, oh, organized. Only by appointments, because you walk in, honey, and you're like, oh, I'm 90? <laughs> I've been here that long, and my hair's still not done. That's not for me. Taint for me. So anyway, I think my appointment was about could be eight o'clock because again I'm a morning person get in and get out and stretch that day honey stretch that day so I could go rumba. that's what I wanted to do so get in my car and put my my reggae on what was I listening to could have been some Barris or Taris Riley speechless water could have been water Anyway, then she opened the door. And immediately, the energy was on point. Very chill, very relaxed, very calm. Her salon was no bigger than, say, a matchbox. All you can really do in there is just keep your legs fold. Don't let her unfold your legs, because that's enough. That's it. You'd be out of the room. <laughs> but it was neat, and it was clean. And she was nice. Another lady was there under the dryer. And one was um, at her sink getting a, a wash and go. Yes, getting a wash and go. So I went in, we had a chat. My hair is usually in twists. I usually keep my hair in twists. So she saw my hair, we spoke a little bit. 
she opened my hair very tender very soft very um, gentle she was very gentle oh this is my Roomba um, sports bra okay ladies don't get it twisted I'm not that kind of girl I'm not nobody oh I am but I'm not today <laughs> I see so she's maybe I was there five minutes ten minutes and then she I was in her chair and then she proceeded to wash my hair she opened my hair very with her fingers no combs which I loved I explained that to her on the phone too that I primarily finger detangle so she opened my hair and I twist them and detangled with her fingers I said oh Lord thank you Jesus thank you Jesus she's so gentle and she didn't talk a lot. I loved it. She wasn't yappa happen Because I hate that. When you just go to a salon and you want to do is maybe take a nap. <laughs> and all the salon. Oh no, the beautician is doing is talking. So she's a young lady. She must have been like 25-ish. I said, you know what? I'm so happy I'm here to support her in her practice. And she seems serious and all this and that. And... Um, I went ahead, I just looked at the products, I said, oh, these products I usually don't use because my hair is so dry, I think that will dry me out. I didn't say that to her, I said to myself. We kept going, she gave me a deep conditioner, and she said, oh, by the way, you need a trim. I said, yeah, that's cool. She took off maybe three, two, three inches, which needed to go. I'm not that type to hold on to hair. I may show you a photo or something if I find it. Anyway, get to the good part. She said, how are you going to style your hair? I said, eh, I usually just have my hair in twist. I usually wear my hair in twist. I don't like my hair out very much. Hence, <laughs> the turby worby, the head wrap. Anyway, so the lady next to me, her hair was more like, um, what do you call this? Lasagna type wave. She was getting a wash. She's like, why don't you try a wash and go? I said, oh, I'm washing this. This ain't washing and going nowhere. Anyway, she said, go ahead, go ahead. So she finished trimming my hair and then she put something else in. I can't remember. But then she reached into the darkest part of the biggest, blackest closet I've ever seen. And she whipped out. She was struggling. <laughs> this big daddy batty blue something. And you know what it said on the front? It said, extra, extra hold. It was a gel. I said, okay, that's what I saw. I said, you know what? I said, what is that? I've never seen that blue gel anywhere. She said, yeah, this is what I usually use for the washing go and it really keeps it for a while and people love it and all that stuff. I said, okay. Go ahead and put it in. And she was there, girl. She was in my hair. She was raking with her fingers like this, raking and working it in, raking and working it in. She wet my hair to think that she would work it in and she would work it in the front. The front of my hair is a different texture right here altogether. Don't ask me what it is. And she trying to do this thing, shingle, wingle, whatever. Eventually she puts me under the hair dryer, came out. And then she said, nah, go back again. She opened up my hair some because Again, I have a big head. I have a lot of fine strands and then thick strands in the back, so they like to love up on each other. So she had to open my hair so the air could go through. Under the hair dryer, I went for like ah, maybe five years. <laughs> Came back out. Then she blew my hair a little bit. She opened my hair some more, almost like diffusing it with the blow dryer to get all the parts underneath that's covering on the top with the other hair. And I liked it. I did. I liked it. My hair was, my hair is, I don't know, armpit length, but actually then it was not armpit length. Maybe it was like shoulder length. So when she was done, it was like, when she put the wash and go, it shrinks your hair. Wash and go ain't no go because I was there at least two hours. It comes up to about here and it was cute. It was like a curly fro, like my hair would be when it's wet. You've seen that other video, right? I'll put it up there um, of my hair being wet. It looks like that, but it shrunk, shrunken a lot more. Anyway, so I was feeling myself. I think I had to work, I had to go away for work. I went back to New York for a little bit and I was loving it, honey. But the curious thing happened about that wash and check out. Can we call it the wash and check out? The wash and check out, when you slept on that bad boy, she told me two things. She said, don't, um, don't add anything to your hair and make sure you wrap your hair with a silk wrap, which I was doing anyway. So the first morning after I went there, I went, I woke up. 
My head, do you know what a, what you call that thing? What you call, the bowling ball is? You know how compact and tight and hard that is? That's what your girl was working with. I woke up and my hair was frozen. Do you know what that, um, what's that thing called? Ramen. You know how ramen noodles look? They're all like this. <laughs> That's how my hair was frozen together. Was not separating. I'll put a photo. It looked cute. But to touch it? Whew. To sleep on it? You remember in that other video I told you it was like sleeping on rocks and pebbles? Honey, this was worse to the most. <laughs> so hard. It couldn't pry apart. And if I pry my hair, I would hear it. <laughs> look cute but to touch and to sleep I said no this ain't a life for me I told her about it I called her she said you know what you should just take two weeks it lasts two weeks and it's blah blah I said not this this gotta go because for me I wash my hair every week I have a super sensitive scalp and it's gotta go because it's disturbing my rest and all I need from life is rest rest and fish rest and fresh fish I wash it out and when I wash my hair out I saw these little C's broken off pieces in the shower and when I was putting in my deep conditioner I saw those little broken off C's in the sink I said my hair never breaks off never and my hair never see me broken off pieces I told her but I called her. I said you know this is something that I think is, my, is, I've never had this before until like I've used this gel on my hair. And I don't think that gel is for me because my hair is so naturally very hard. And by the way, I'm using this treatment to help my, to re-moisture, to get moisture back into my strands and so on and so on. So. I said, I like coming to you because you really are gentle on my strands and I like your energy and you like your vibe. So I said, I want to bring this thing to you and you can see, you know what she said? You know what you do with this bell, by the way. You've seen this bell around? And you know what you do? Subscribe and all that jive because you love what you see. You're digging what you're hearing. Don't forget, like, thumbs it up, thumbs it up, thumbs it up. She said to me, <laughs> She said to me, This was on the phone. I said, what, what, what that? I can hear my grandmother saying that. Oh, what that she I said. I said, I said, beg your pardon, madam. Let's call her Vanetta. I said, beg your pardon, Vanetta. What did you say? She says it again. That's <laughs> right. I said, uh, what, what did you say? She said it. Can I said, can you speak a little slower? She said, we don't accept, no, we don't allow outside products. I said, oh, I said this to myself, I said, isn't that curious? I'm an outside product. I'm coming into you. I have trouble with your big baddy blue gel from the hell of a zone. And I'm telling you it's not working for me. I'm the customer who's been living with this big head of hair who knows they're here. And you're telling me you don't accept outside products. And then your gel is all the customers like the gel. And this is the gel, the only gel you use. And she had these words to me. I said, right there. When, here's what she's telling you. Receive it. This is her beauty shop and probably she, this woman don't wanna have me and my big head up in there taking her two hours away when she can get an easy, wavy, pearly, curly, 3C kind of sister coming in there with her easy hair in and out, make her extra money. She don't need me up in there. And what does Wen need? Discover your voice. It's one of the other videos we have. Go check it out in the playlist. Discover your voice. You know what I said? When, what do you need? I need healthy hair more than anything else. A lot of people, they need cute hair, they need to be styled, they need to look in the mirror, and need to see their hair out and poofy. That's not what Wen needs. Wen needs healthy hair. And if I'm telling her that her big baddie gel is breaking off my hair, breaking it, breaking it, breaking it, 
making it drier than the hay that it naturally is, that woman, that beauty salon is not for me. Her salon taint for me, taint for me. So I sat, because I don't get huffy and puffy, that's not my nature, that's not the island in me. Island girl, no, that's not me. I said, you know what, Miss Fanara? I said, Miss Fanara. On the phone, we were on the phone. I said, Miss Fanara. Thank you for explaining the rules of your beauty salon. But you know what? what, what? I will not be back. All the best to you. And your beauty shop. That ain't for me. Be well with everything that you do. That's what I said. And what did I do after that? I never called her, never went there because I can take care of my hair better than anybody else can. Right there she told me what she valued. She valued what? Her big baddie gel that everybody loves and every hair that walks in her door enjoys and can handle. That's what she valued. What did Wen value? Healthy hair, healthy strands, not styled put perfectly and cute with the wash and go, but the health of my hair mattered more. That's what I valued. We didn't marry up, we didn't match up. Amen, goodbye. That's what I say. Find your voice, discover your voice, tell yourself the truth, check out that video, take great care of yourself because nobody else knows you like you know you. And nobody should. Nobody should, baby. Somebody. These are my rumba moves. Another video is waiting for you. Check it out. Check it out now. Should a bang, bang, bang. Ha 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 ha.